The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television. <laughs> the inside joke. <laughs> Dingo dongo, Marco! What am I doing here? Yes, my child. <laughs> I'm the Queen of England. I'm just gonna keep rolling. It's like my dad's not even neutered. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Get my leg on. Live from Studio A in Hobart Hall, it's America's favorite improv show, and scene with your host, Joey Fatone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first spring episode of And Scene. I'm your host, CJ Von Essen, filling in for Joey Fatone. If this is your first time watching, our four lovely players from the Pioneer Players Club will be improvising scenes and sketches off the top of their heads with the help of our own prompts and suggestions from the studio audience. Let's meet the players tonight. First up, he's frolicking through the meadow, it's Spencer Rhoda. <laughs> Next, she's picking daisies, it's Casey Cassidy. <laughs> then, he's smelling the roses, it's Jacob Macklis. <laughs> Finally, she's eating some weeds. It's Juliette Ruiz. <laughs> Let's start off with our first game, Lines from a Pocket. In this game, Juliette and Jacob will be doing a scene, but if they are at a loss for words, they can reach into their pocket and pull it out a line of dialogue written by the members of our studio audience. So, you two are preparing for a race. Scene in when you're ready. All right, I got this. You're gonna lose. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Oh yeah? Yeah, I ran cross country for half a season, so. Oh yeah? Well, I ran cross ocean. And then you know the motto of the cross ocean crossing team is? What? What's up everybody? I'm Jacob and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> That's an interesting motto. Did you work for Disney Channel? Yeah, we were sponsored by Disney Channel, oh, so that's we cool. had to, uh, we oh. had to. Well, if you were sponsored, that means you're not an amateur and you can't run in this race. <laughs> you know what, it says that in the rule, it's like in the rule book, rule book, specifically says, death, destroyer of worlds, so. Well, I happen <laughs> to be friends with death, so there, uh, that's how I got in this race. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, hold on, actually, I just need to remember something my coach told me, something really inspiring, so like, what do you say? I think it was, this is too much paper. <laughs> really got me, man, I, I can do this. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Why are we always fighting? We're always fighting in races. Why can't we work together to reach our goal? Because that's the point of a race, to compete against one another. It shouldn't be to compete. We should be working together, like my mother always said. She always said, I think dogs should vote. <laughs> wow. God bless America. Dogs should vote. We should work together. Cats should, don't, should keep their everything and be able to make baby cats. They think they're called kittens. And we should work together for a brighter America. That's really inspiring, man. But <laughs> let's get back to the race. All right. Okay, we got this, I got this, All I got right. this. All right. Three. Wait, hold on. What now? I just, there was something specific in the rule books that said like the beginning of the race, we have to do something like specific. All right, let's hear it. I think it was, words cannot express how much I love you, but numbers can, two out of 10. <laughs> oh. There That's it the is. most anyone's ever loved me. <laughs> that means so much. You're welcome. All right. Now that you've expressed your almost kind of love-ish to me, three, two, one. Let's hear the announcer call out the starting yell words. Words, words, words. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Man, I'm so going to beat you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's like my dad always said. Coco? Coco! Oh, hey, Coco! Yeah, Coco! Coco! That's what he always said. Yeah. Wait, you're trying to distract me! No, time, I'm not. Time for the water section. Oh, man, I can't swim. I'm, I need a boat. Anyone have a boat? Someone a boat? No? Uh, and scene. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, what kind of race uh, were you running? A triathlon. <laughs> okay, all right. And so you just tried saying something underwater then? <laughs> yes. 
mm -hmm. who is Pioneer Players Tuesday and Thursdays every day at 158B. What a great wow. advertisement. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. I was telling the fish. The yeah. fish deserve to do improv too. I'm gonna put this in my head. For a better America. <laughs> yes. All right. This is my hair. Our next game is called Emotional Roller Coaster. In this game, Casey and Spencer will be doing a normal scene, but Juliet can freeze the scene at any point and change the emotion Casey is feeling. So, you guys are both playing hide and seek. Scene in when you're ready. Uh, I'm gonna count to 10, all right? Okay. All right. One. Crud, I don't know the next word. No, Polo! Uh, what? You're supposed to say Marco. No, we're playing hide and seek. Freeze. Flabbergasted. What? <laughs> we're, we're, what? We're playing hide and seek. Do you not know what? What? It, uh, let me, let's try this again. Come on, we got this. All right. One. Polo! Freeze. Despondent. <laughs> um, yeah, come on, it's, it's easy. <laughs> it's, come on, we'll just play a hide and seek. It's really easy. Come on, we'll try it one more time, all right? You just gotta hide, all right? Freeze. One. Cold. Two. <laughs> three. I can, I can hear where you are. Hide! Can you hear me shiver? Yes! <laughs> well, then. Freeze. <laughs> Surprised. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Happy birthday! What? This is my birthday? Marco Polo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Did you find me yet? Yeah, I yeah. did. I'm looking right at you. Yeah. Well, you want to know something else? What do I? Oh, no, no. I'm in the cake! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I'm so confused. Freeze! <laughs> Melancholic. Listen, I'm sorry if I... No, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Don't touch me. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's try playing one more time. Come on, we got this, all right? Freeze! Terrified. <laughs> no, it's okay. Come on. <laughs> Let's just, come on. We're gonna play one more time, all right? Freeze. Um. Mad. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Okay. I yes. count the numbers. Okay. Then you count. I'll one, hide. Okay. Two found you. Your hiding spot oh, was no. not good enough. And <laughs> busted. <laughs> all right. That was a strange peek into the strange psyche Those of Those were Casey. very strange uh, adjectives. <laughs> Emotions. I made the call for it because I wanted to see what you guys would do to hide. <laughs> You're not good at it. I wasn't the emotional I mean, one. <laughs> I mean, Casey wasn't a cake. I guess that's kind of hiding. Tr yeah, that's true. That's true. Surprise. I just was like, I was going to hide under the chair, I guess. <laughs> I just put my hands up. <laughs> okay. So our next game tonight is called Evil Twin. In this game, Casey and Jacob will play the nicest people in the world. At any point, Spencer and Juliet, who play their evil alter egos, can tag them out, take their place, and do something mean to the other person. The nice people must then justify what their evil twin just did. So, you guys are shopping at a Goodwill. Seen in when you're ready. Oh, I'm gonna buy so many bootleg games. Really, Will? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> yes, good. Okay. <laughs> It's really, it's such a coincidence that this store just happens to be like... Goodwill! I know! Freeze. Because we sure know your will's not good. Ooh. I would expect it to not even be written because, you know, you're not going to die anytime soon. <laughs> I like being alive! I know, I love you being alive too. Okay, so what are we here for? Freeze. How would you like to be dead? That's the name of the bootleg video game I found, <laughs> right? How would you like to be dead? Oh my gosh, I bet it's so scary. Oh, let's play. It's oh. in the... V I got my Game Boy. Okay. Which is still working. Okay, I'm going to put my card off to the side. Okay. Ooh, scary. Oh, 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 oh. Lord, it's super scary. You're so good at the game. Oh. <laughs> All right. You, you want to play? No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to go actually Freeze. go shopping. It's almost as scary as your face. Oh! Because you're wearing that Halloween mask! <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. It's almost Halloween. I just thought it was something you tried out today. But yeah. then, you know, I. Yeah, you are. It's I, a gift for you, actually. Really? Freeze. Always... Yeah, I modeled it after you. Oh. It's based off of that vampire, Edward. Oh, really? I hear women like him or something. Am I sparkling? Oh, you're sparkly. I have a flashlight. Oh. I'm going to put this Game Boy down. OK. Oh. You're so shiny. I'm a disco ball. <laughs> I want to be a disco ball. OK. Oh. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Freeze. Yeah, that's 
that's the only thing bright in your future. Oh. Because that flashlight is bright, and it's shining towards your face, which is the future of America. <laughs> that's good, good. I know. Thank you, Will, Will. <laughs> Freeze. I hope you get fired from your job. <laughs> Another video game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one is. Right, let's try that one actually out. Actually, kind of depressing, actually. Oh. Really realistic, though. Good thing it's not happening to any of us. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <Whee! laughs> <girl>. And scene. <laughs> I gotta say, Ho you guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really good at being good. Good at being good. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> Come here. Closer. Closer. Ancine will be right back after this. Mm -hmm. 